Now this video will look at some uh, RPS reporting processes and parts management. Uh, as from the sub menu you can see we have an extensive range of uh, pre-formatted reports to assist us with the management of RPS. Uh, we went to, we can export to uh, an Excel spreadsheet, we can export the complete list. Uh, export the stock for instance is only that where items exist, whereas the other is the complete list. We can uh, do issue reports and RPS lists and so on, and receipt reports. I think um, the interesting, you know, like they're fairly straightforward, clicking on them will take you to the report and you can see that. Um, I think this is a uh, an important area of uh, rep repair parts management. Uh, when we created um, work orders where repair parts did not exist and we ordered them, well, they will start appearing in the parts order lists. Okay, and this is uh, a history of all parts order lists. So if I click on this current parts order list, which was done on the 18th of April, uh, and view, we get to see all of the parts that were ordered from our prime contractor in relation to them and the dues. So we've got the part number against the work order ID, the item, if there was a serial number, and the quantity that we need. Okay, so that's a, a fairly important report. We, we give that to our prime and we expect parts to be delivered accordingly. We give them to the prime in accordance with the pattern of ordering that they want, which is every three months. Um, we go into there and we'll follow on from that. Now those, those items are generated from the current parts to order list, okay? So, you know, at any one time, the logistics cell can look at the current parts to order. Now, these items are a waiting order for the next list to be given to the prime. Uh, and basically, it shows you all of our items. Now, at this point in time, you'll see a work order ID against them. Wherever there's a work order ID of one, that is actually an order of items that we've identified we want to have some stock of because we're using them more frequently uh, than the three monthly cycle so we get stock in and the prime either agrees to that or doesn't agree to it uh, we can save this to an excel part we can add those parts like i just said there now we can move we can we can view this report and see a complete report and in actual fact we can actually go to the work order that relates to that item from this point so if we click on uh, work order and there's the work order report that relates to it uh, and basically we would print this off and give it to the prime and say we need these parts ASAP or in, within the next few weeks so that we can continue doing the work for you so we go back to uh, repair parts management a little bit further and uh, go parts to order list and now once we've passed it to the prime, we should move this to dues in. If we do this, this will move everything to the dues in list. Remember on the uh, work order screen in the parts area, you had parts to order, parts dues in, and completed. Well, this will change that status on those parts to dues in if you complete it. So go yes, and literally now we're saying we've given this to the prime, but all of these parts now are due in and need to be managed as dues in stock. So that's, that's currently happening in the background of this report. And you'll finally get your message, all parts are now due in. Clicking OK, so we go back to the repair parts menu, reports, and we look at the dues in list. We'll find all of those items added to the dues in. If there were dues in uh, previously, wherever there's an item of one, you notice it's for stock, and that's giving the message that, that that's what we expect that to come in for. Here we go back to the repair parts, look at the reports even further. We can use the parts usage summary, parts usage per year. And uh, these are statistics that um, will give us a succinct look at how our parts have gone in 2006, current stock, you know, total usage. Uh, and we start to get some sort of detailed management in regards to the statistics of the stock. And that's really an overview of reports on repair parts.